I'm Anthony Kelly. I'm professor of the practice of music. The story of this piece involves me becoming a, a freshman at Duke in the 1980s. In 83, I started playing in the Duke band with uh, a band director named Paul Bryan, who was a, a wonderful uh, conductor. I was watching a movie by Joanne Burke called Music On My Mind. It's just a bio of Harry Lou Williams. Paul Bryan, my band director, shows up in, the, in this documentary and he's conducting the Duke Wind Symphony. And he's saying, let's read through this one time so Mary Lou can hear you know, how it's going so far. She's in the hospital and she can't make it to rehearsal tonight. Oof, I'm watching this and it's quite an emotional moment because I'm thinking, my gosh, PB is interacting with Mary Lou Williams. I just didn't have those two thoughts in my mind. I started asking around, where, where's the music? Because I'm thinking, well, it's got to exist somewhere, you know? So I started trying to track it down and I started asking and asking. And, and finally we get to the Rubenstein Library and some of the wonderful archivists there guided me towards a, a box that contained sketches. Now go big. In the documentary, you see Mary Lou Williams in the Duke Hospital getting cancer care. She dies writing this piece, and so it was never finished. So whatever I could find, I pieced together the best I could. I, I tried my best to also glue it together with elements that I thought might connect sections and give the piece a form that would have been complementary to her material. We are making history with the piece called History, um, written by Mary Lou Williams and completed by my dear colleague, Anthony Kelly. It's a journey that Professor Kelly and Mary Lou Williams take us on. And it's fascinating how we get from the introduction to Movement 6, but it all is so seamless. He was inspired by so many of her other works. He had really dug deep and made sure he captured her in the music. He's done incredible research and it does sound really authentic. But of course, Professor Kelly is in there as well and his voice, which is so important to us as well. I am um, performing a solo at the start of um, Movement 4. I'm like the first instrument that um, starts off the piece. And it's really quite a special thing because um, I'm also in jazz band. And you hear the name Mary Lou Williams all the time. You hear all the unique impact she's had on that scene. So now that we have like a concert band piece, we have like a whole new venue for expressing her impact on the world, which I think is really cool. Having co completed a work that was begun by Mary Lou Williams, I have great dreams and horrifying nightmares. If she walked in the room and saw some of this and she said, oh, you know, what are you doing? And then there are times when I'm quite confident. I think she would be glad that her dream is now in the world rather than just part of a documentary of something unfinished. I think that would please her just as it would please me that the dream is now in the world. It exists, it's not just here anymore.